Wait, what's this conversation going on in the chat? You got any good tips to help with stream consistency? You're gonna have to be a bit more specific than that, man. What do you mean by stream... Sp uh, the fuck? Streaming consistency. I think what he means is how to keep your stamina while streaming. Uh, it's not more of attending to the format. It just seems like I can't stream anything over 180. I just want to figure out how I can go higher. Duxus, here's the thing. All right. Do you want the short answer or the long answer? Long, please. All right, guys. If you're wondering who asked, just understand. It's this guy right here. <sighs> so the problem that you're having is that you can't stream anything over 180 BPM. All right. Now, that's even still vague because how, what do you define as streaming 180 BPM, all right? Uh, when I talk about specifics with a certain issue, I like to get into the nitty gritty, nitty gritty, okay? What BPM are we talking about? What's the spacing that we're talking about? Are we talking about low spacing, dense 180 BPM streams stacked on top of each other? You can basically keep your cursor in the middle of it. It's just relying on can you tap fast enough? How many objects are we talking about? Typically, we're, uh, it'll be around like seven objects. I, I count seven objects as like the borderline between a burst and actually streaming it. So if you can do 180 BPM for seven objects at a one over four uh, density thing, I, th I think that's pretty fucking good, all right? In my opinion, that's pretty fucking good. You got 180 down, all right? However, all right, uh, increasing BPM also depends on how many objects we're talking about, what spacing are we talking about, stuff like that. It's very, it's very important to talk about those things because as you increase the spacing, as you increase the amount of objects, you can typically play that if it's a lower BPM. Same thing, if you increase the BPM, you will likely be able to play that same map just at a lower object count, lower spacing, but you could probably speed it up. Now the question, the, the golden question is, how can you increase the BPM while playing more objects, while playing more difficult patterns, more space patterns, more complex patterns, etc. right? And this just goes back to like a same idea that I've explained before, which is start from the bottom and you work your way up. If you already have a great foundation with 180 BPM at seven objects, that's fucking great. If you want to push that, try playing 175 BPM at nine objects, all right? Believe it or not, that helps you develop the finger control to then get better and faster at the game, all right? Or you can try playing 190 BPM or 185 BPM and try to go for five objects at a specific spacing, at a constant spacing or something like that, right? You address these different variables and by practicing this variety of VMAPs at different speeds, it develops the underlying skill that supports, that supports this entire tree of skills, which is finger control which is stamina, which is reading, which is all the other skills that are necessary to build on top of that foundation to get better at streaming past 180 BPM consistently at a certain object count. That's what we're talking about, all right? Now I just like spewed in a shit ton of information, but best of luck.